Question number three, Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is Order. to the Prime Minister and asks, does he stand by his statement that Ian Rennie made a, quote, serious miscalculation over the handling of a sexual harassment complaint against former Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority boss Roger Sutton? Right Mr. Honourable Speaker. Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, yes. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Mr Speaker, was it a serious miscalculation for Ian Rennie to hold a joint press conference with Roger Sutton after receiving advice against it from his own communication staff? Right Honourable Prime Speaker, Minister. Speaker, in my opinion, yes. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Does he accept that the head of his own Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet made a serious miscalculation by appearing at the joint press conference and embracing Roger Sutton at the end? Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I do, although that shouldn't be taken as a marriage proposal. <coughs> what? Really? So Sup supplementary. Order. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. So it's a joke, is it? Order. Order. Andrew Little's supplementary question. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does he accept that Ian Rennie's and Andrew Kibblewhite's behaviour indicates a I'll scratch your back, you'll scratch mine culture of unaccountability at the top of the public service? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, uh, I don't. I think that's what the unions were doing when they voted that member Order. in. Order. <laughs> supplementary question, Andrew Little. Is it a serious miscalculation that his own Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet has just 15 per cent women in top roles, even though women make up half of the staff employed in that department? Well, the Speaker, right, Honourable Prime Speaker, Minister. my understanding is that those numbers on the advice I've had from the Chief Executive will be improving, but one of the issues for DPMC is that it includes within its staff numbers government house, and uh, that, that um, has some impact on skewing quite a lot of the data that they record. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Why is he doing nothing at all about the serious miscalculations that Ian Rennie and the head of his own department made in mishandling the Roger Sutton case? Uh, right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I don't think it could be characterised as doing nothing, but the State Services Commissioner has independence, um, statutory independence, and that needs to be preserved. But, Mr. Speaker, I have made it clear, both publicly and in the case of Mr. Kibblewhite privately, uh, that I. You're a joke. Uh, but that I. Um, Mr. Speaker, that I. Um, Mr. Speaker, Order. that I'm disappointed with their behaviour. Thank you. Order. 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 Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Why does he still have confidence in Ian Rennie? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, because Ian Rennie has been around the state services uh, and the state sector for nearly 30 years. He has, over that period of time, 30 years, I think, conducted his uh, leadership roles uh, very successfully. He was appointed under a Labour government and reappointed under a national government. And while he would accept that he made a mistake in terms of the joint press conference, I think it's fair to say that, for the most part, the rest of his performance has been good. Question number four. Order. Order. Joe Ann Hayes.